Hello, my name is Louise and today I'm filming my 20th eyeshadow roulette. I find that very exciting for some reason. 20 is a good number, you know, divisible by 2, 10, 4, 5. Yeah, numbers with a lot of multiples, is that what it's called? And prime numbers are good numbers. So yeah, eyeshadow roulette number 20. The 19th eyeshadow roulette had some fun colors and I was pleased with I guess I was pleased with most of them, but you know, I am the kind of person who really enjoys bright colors, so the more neutral ones are really not my jam. So, good colors. The neutral ones were, you know, fine, but let's just go through the colors. The first one was from the Urban Decay and Christian Leanne palette, Kaleidoscope Dreams, I think. Kaleidoscope Dream, yeah. And it was the color Spitfire, which is this one. It is a really beautiful pinky purple metallic. It's the kind of shade that I find really easy to use and I super enjoy. Yes. I used this one three times. Easy to use every time. Blended nicely. It worked well with the red shade, which I will get to. And I like experimented with the blue shade that I will get to. It would have worked well with that one as well. But yeah, it's one of my favorite colors. It's one of my favorite types of colors. So, that one. The next shade was from the NYX In Your Element Fire Palette. This one, and it was the red shade, which is that baby. Such a pretty color. I do enjoy strong, vibrant reds like that. <coughs> yep. mm -hmm. I used this one twice. I could have probably used it more. I wish I had somehow, but yeah. Very pretty. I loved it. I used it on its own, I think, over... Um, a brown base, very deep and like grungy somehow, even though it was bright red. I also used these two together. That look was very nice. Only used it twice, like I said. I wish I'd used it more, but very nice shade. The third shade randomized was from the Urban Decay Electric Palette, and it was the color Chaos, which is this blue. It's a very pretty color in the pan. Mm -hmm. It's very smooth. You expect it to be like, you know, very striking on the eye. This is just a small swatch and you kind of can see it's not as dark in this swatch as it was in the pan, which I guess isn't that surprising. And it also has like micro glitters in it. But what I was going to say was that it's so patchy on the eye, unfortunately. Like I'd pack it on with a brush or a finger and then I was like, oh my god, this is so nice. But then when I went to blend just the edge, it lifted so much of the pigment off my eye so unfortunate i used it still used it i think three times so i really wait, let me just double check yeah i used it three times so i really did try to make it work and it was just it was not mm, just no it didn't do it didn't do its job which was really disappointing like i've said before it's the kind of color that i have a hard time using you know this kind of blue so it's the kind of color that i want to use more to really challenge myself and then when it doesn't perform i'm like oh what you know, I was foiled before I was even given the opportunity to make a decent effort. But yeah, I give an honest shot though three times, you know, so yeah. The fourth shade was from the Cose Vise Riche Glossy Rich Eyes in the Burgundy iteration. And it was this beigey gold, a very pretty neutral, super pretty. Like, you know, it's the kind of color that people are like, oh, it's so wearable. There you can see for me. This kind of shade is super unwearable because it just i don't feel happy enough in this kind of a look i know if i would do a look with these four shades together i would feel like oh that's nice i know i would feel pleased with it and i would feel pretty and you know but these do not give me the same kind of joy as the colors in say the chris and leanne palette it's just that's just how i am so yeah but i did use this one twice representative of how hard it was for me to use it so i reached my goal but you know i used it like over a dark brown base i used it in the inner corner Ugh, you know it's fine it's fine it's fine and the fifth and final shade was from the huda beauty mercury retrograde palette a palette that i find so beautiful and it was the color cosmic which is this shimmery pink very pretty color but much like the last shade, the kind of shade that doesn't really excite me. It's pretty. I used it as an inner corner highlight. I know I used it when I did a halo eye with the blue shade. You, 
yeah, pretty, but used it. I did use it three times, but not again, not the kind of shade that I'm like, wow, I need to use it more. It makes me so happy. It's like, it's fine, you know, but I'm not going to diss it too hardcore. It was a good shade. I used it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So these were the shades from last time. Mm -hmm. And I did use them the amount of times that I had set my goal, which is two times in this two week period, considering we had visitors both weekends from my family, which I haven't seen in that year and a half, but we were all double vaccinated. So it felt safe and it felt really nice to meet them all. So, you know, when you have visitors and you just want to like hang out with them, then you kind of make sure that your makeup goes quickly. So I chose colors that like, oh, I could just slap them on and it would make me happy. These shades are not necessarily the kind of shades that you would just slap on. Maybe only these two for me. Maybe that's not for the case for most people, but for me, these are the kind of shades that I could just slap on and be happy with. So I really had to work to get the others incorporated into looks, at least when I had visitors. But anyway, yes, still pleased with my effort. Again, I feel like these last two weeks, because of the visitors and because, I don't know, for some reason, I just was difficult to get into it. I'm still very pleased that I actually did reach my goal. So. Let's just insert these selfies and then randomize new shades. So those were the selfies. Let's randomize new shades. So I have 54 shades in singles and 325 in palettes. That gives me 379 shades. I have my random number generator here. So let's just enter one, two, 379, and then generate. 296. Ooh, it's from the Nikki tutorial, the Beauty Bay palette. Ooh, okay. So from this one, and it's the shade Roxy Catan. I think this is a good color. Oh, yes, it's that one. Like it's a peachy pink shimmer. Fun, fun, fun. Yes, baby. Yes, you can see. Oh my God, no, it's a peachy gold. Okay. Okay, fun. Uh, pencil. Okay, doke. So let's randomize the second shade. 200. Okay, it's a pink shade. Is it from, oh, it's from the Huda Beauty Neon Pink palette. That one, okay. And it is, I've just named it pink. And considering it's called Neon Pink, that might be difficult. Ooh, it's that one. Yeah, that's like the pinkest of the pink in this palette anyway. And I know it's a color I love. Oh my God, that's so exciting. Look at those two together, like really now. Okay. Okay. Well, don't mind if I do. Pencil. Again, pencil. Kidok, so the third shade. 306, so pretty close to the last shade. Oh, it's the color Pride, which is from the Nikki Toros palette, which I have had before. So let's randomize again. 110. Oh, it's from the Urban Decay Electric palette, which I do have right here. So it's the color Revolt. I think it's a silver one. Yes. That one, a pretty shade. I know I've liked it before, so that will be fun to use. It's more like a glitter topper though. It's not that opaque as a silver. You can see it's more like a sheen, which is nice. I am happy with that one. Fun, 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 fun. So those were three shades. Let's do the fourth one. Number 118, pretty close. Okay, it's the color Freak from the same palette, which I have had before, so randomizing a new one. 351 is from, oh, I think it's from the Zodiac palette. Hold on, no, maybe not. Nope, 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 wrong one. Oh, it's from the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette. Yay! 
It's the color Gold Glitch. Ooh, mm -hmm. that one. That's pretty. That's pretty. Yes. Yes. Look at that. Oh my God, it's so pretty. And it has like in the pan, it kind of has like purple flecks in it somehow. It's like a metallic. You cannot see. Huh? It has like, it's a purple. No, it's a. How should I describe it? Like in not an antique gold, but like a cool toned gold with slight purple flecks in. Very pretty. Oh, yes. Okay. Only one shade and three shimmers. <laughs> Let's do the fifth shade and see if we get another matte. 55, the first the first shade in a palette, as in like, yeah, I have 54 shades in singles, so this is the first shade of my palette collection. So it should be an old sucker. Do, do, do. Yes, it's, it's a really old palette. It's a Galin palette, and it's called Ombre Eclat Quatre Couleurs, and number 408. I mean, I know I really like this palette, but you can tell I've used a lot of it. And it's this pearly white shade. So, yeah, it's not gonna... Yeah, you can't really see. Actually, you know what? What's actually pretty nice about this shade, it does have a slight duochrome, I would say, like shifting between more of a gold and a pink, which you cannot see there. But yeah, it's kind of similar to the Madre Perla color I had a few weeks ago. Can you see? Anyway, it's beautiful, but like, <laughs> that's hilarious. Right, okay, so yeah. If I thought these two shades were annoying me, <laughs> what will I think of these? But okay, so this shade is a bit more of a pinky, apricoty gold. This shade is very much just a silver. This shade is a gold, but you know, the fact that there are purple flecks in it makes it more fun somehow. And then this one is my oldest palette, but also therefore it kind of makes it fun for me to use somehow. Yes, she is a little climber, that kitty. So, okay, well, I, I am still pleased with this lineup because um, at least these four, the first four are from palettes that are very colorful. So I will be able to use these shades, but also with other colors in the palettes. So it'll make like, you know, potentially interesting looks. Okay, so let's just go through the shades. The first one is from the Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay palette, the color Roxy Catan. Then from the Huda Beauty Neon Pink palette, it's the pinkest shade in the palette. We have the color Revolt from Urban Decay Electric, the color Gold Glitch from the Huda Beauty Mercury Retro Ray palette. And finally, we have this pearly white shimmery duo potentially chromey color from the Garland Ombre Eclat Quatre Couleurs I think it was called number 408 very pretty colors this will actually be really fun to use mainly because again these shades one two three four shades are from colorful palettes so yes good good already looking forward to these two a lot and actually this one as well because this palette because this palette is somehow very inspiring to me. I don't know, I feel like most times you won't get inspired by a palette that has this much pan, maybe? Or is that just me being unfair toward panned items? But I know that these three together are very cool and then just deepening it with like a dark matte, almost gray purple is so beautiful. So I am looking forward to using this baby. Good quality palette, very old, but a fave this time last time i mean look at the contrast like you'd think that i'd be less happy than i actually am because these ones i was like oh my goodness fun color then now i'm like okay neutral metallics but i'm so so super excited about this yes okie dokie so that was that i have had a pizza today so i'm so full and uh yeah well, I didn't only eat a pizza. I had an ice cream and a piece of cake and breakfast, of course, and more. Did I have more ice cream? It's summer. I can eat ice creams. I can eat ice cream whenever I want, actually. Ice cream is good for the soul. Yes. Gonna drink my tea now in my Quidditch mug. And yeah, go to bed. <laughs> so hope you're having a nice day. Stay safe, wash your hands, 
get vaccinated if you can. And I will see you again in two weeks. That video will also be filmed in another location. And I have asked my husband to help me randomize shares before we go there. So I'm not really sure how it'll play out, but I want to try it. So yeah, the cat says goodbye. I know she doesn't. She, she doesn't care. She's a cat because she just wants food. But anyway, goodbye.